for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and we're learning about Carter Creations Publishing House with my guest, self-published author and founder, Jessica K. Carter. Welcome back, Thank Jessica. You. So we've been talking about this adorable book that you wrote, yes. Affirmations About Me, um, inspired by your daughter, your daughters. Yes. And so tell us um, the process to actually go, we'll talk about the business part of it for a minute, because I know that you have the creative, um, you put the creativity into writing the book and, yes. and having it illustrated. Um, was your brother-in-law who illustrated it? Yes, my brother-in-law is also the illustrator as well as the editor. She is a sorority sister of mine. So I really tried to keep the process uh, with people I was already familiar with yeah. who you know, do it professionally. Yeah, absolutely. So that then the, from beginning to end and, and actually starting a publishing house through this process, what inspired you to do that and what, are your, what other projects do you have coming down the way? Since I knew more books were in my future, it only made sense to go ahead uh, full throttle with the publishing company. And I know a lot of people who are, you know, that are like I was once before sitting on the fence and actually yeah. need to help to produce their work so it made sense to help them as well um, doing everything full throttle and giving them the opportunity to produce their manuscripts. So it, so your intent is to continue to build the publishing business. Have you published any other books right now or is it still new? So it's still new. Um, the book has actually been out two months. Um, very proud though. We've sold 250 copies already um, so we're working with other authors who intend to publish this year as well um, we're setting up workshops so that we can help authors who are sitting on the fence um, gain their confidence mm -hmm. gain whatever skills they need to get their finished product actually and we're also doing things in conjunction with other partners where we go go back and give to the community and different things of that nature. Um, during the government shutdown, we worked closely with Shoe Fly as well as Mama to Mama to assist families um, that were in need during that short period. And we want to continue doing things like that and you know, giving back to the community we aim to serve. So all of that through the publishing house? Yes. OK. So the other books that you plan to write, is the, the intended audience still children? For the first few years, definitely. Um, there's so much that you can teach at this age. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much they enjoy, and we really want to hit every nail that we can and take our time with children, yes. Mm -hmm. And then down the road, you see something different? Possibly. Um, there's endless possibilities. Um, right now, beyond the workshops that we're doing and the books that we're doing, we also have apparel that we're working on. Um, so we have a lot going on in Carter Creations, so keeping the book genre to one right now is uh, really helpful to me, just being yeah. able to produce the best quality for them. So right. maybe we'll do more for adults in the future, but we're really excited about Yeah, children. but staying focused for now and, yes. and limited in your scope, obviously you're we're only limited by our own minds and abilities sometimes and time. Mm -hmm. um, so the book, um, so you've sold 250 copies. Yes. And are you selling it primarily to schools, libraries? Um, so we're available on Amazon. Um, we're here in St. Louis, um, Progressive, Progressive Ephorium and Education Center, excuse me, as well as the Jennings School District. They recently picked us up, so mm -hmm. we're in schools there, and we've been working with McClure School District as well. So we're excited. Uh, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to get as many Tribe X Presents series into the schools. and. Yeah. So hold up the book one more time. We're going to take a break in just a moment. Just open it up so so <laughs> our viewers can okay. see the the illustrations and just get an idea of what this book It's just so nicely um, illustrated, but also just so simple. It's a great read aloud yes. for, um, for children really of all ages. So, yeah, very and good. And e, um, F is probably my most favorite. F is for fancy. Uh, it reminds me of my daughter just twirling away. Now yeah. she knows how so to do So she that. inspired a lot of this, <laughs> I would imagine. So yes. we have a lot. Very sweet. All right, very good. We're going to take a break right now, Jessica. Thank you so much thank for joining for us today. Me. And just remember that ABC Affirmations About Me is a children's book that assists children with affirming themselves to be empowered by who they are and who they were created to be, despite media influences and cultural generalizations. For more information, visit cartercreationsph.com. There's more STL Live after this. 
Stay with us.